<clears throat> hey you guys, hello, and welcome to the Good News Sunday Show. This is the super early edition, so we're running one edition behind, so you're likely to get two editions today. So you may see me in this jacket twice, but you may see me with um, different hair. Nevertheless, this is Good News Sunday Show. My name is Sonia. Keyword Bible Studies, the daily keyword. The Gap Prayer Band, the Good News Sunday Show. And we are shoring up our biblical foundation before we get into Thanksgiving and Christmas. So, to review last week, last week we went over in Bible Basics, Bible Basics, we went over the history of the Bible, publishing, printing, and translations. That is what we discovered last week in Bible Basics. We left off on Friday talking about the timeline, the biblical timeline. And I let you know that we were going to start our study of the timeline during the exile period, during the division period, during the captivity period. And so that's exactly what we're going, going to do today. If we're in need of study or for a review, you can go back and look at the videos for, once again, history, publishing, printing, and translations. Today, we are jumping into the Bible timeline. And we're jumping right into the area of... 585 to 457 BC, the books of exile, post-exile, and the exile, exilic period. Okay, so, and the reason why we're doing that is because I want us to see the fruit of exile, the fruit of division. There is much fruit to be found in exile, captivity, division. So I want us to pay close attention at the post-exile books and the exile books because there is much fruit, much learned in periods of division, exile, and captivity. Okay, so that's what we're looking at today. And I am going to, hopefully, I have a piece of chalk here that cooperates. Last week we had some chalk that... Eh, didn't do so well. So, we're just going to get a new piece over here and see how that does. So, we're going to draw a timeline. We're going to go higher. To, to, and look, that piece broke off. But, you know, we don't want to do it like that. We're going to draw a timeline. And the exile period may not be smack in the middle of the biblical timeline, but that's where we're going to put it for our sake of study. Like we said, some people call it exile, some people call it captivity. And then, some people, of course, it is called the period of division. And what I want us to understand is that there is much fruit in the exile period much fruit periods of exile or captivity proof 
produce. Daniel, Daniel and Esther, are actually books that are written in the exile period. Okay. Oh, I forgot Haggai. I knew it was five. I knew it was five. Okay, so post exile books Ezra, Haggai, Nehemiah, Zechariah, Malachi, Daniel. Well, these. Daniel and Esther are actually books written during the exile period, okay? So, once again, periods of exile, captivity, and or isolation produce much fruit. That's what we can learn from the biblical timeline, okay? So, these Seven books, seven books all came out of the all came out of periods of exile, post exile and exile. Okay? So what we can learn is that once again, periods of Exile, captivity, and or division produce much fruit on the biblical timeline in the Bible. And, might I add, in this year one life. Periods of exile, captivity, division produce much fruit in this year one life. So, Therefore, making periods of exile, division, and or captivity beneficial, beneficial, beneficial to us all. This is Sonia signing out for the very, very, very early edition of the Good News Sunday Show. Thank you.